A community in Halifax is feeling the loss this morning of an entire family of newcomers whose house was turned to ashes. A terrible fire early yesterday that took the lives of all seven children of the Barho family who came to Canada from Syria. The family's neighbors gathered last night for a vigil at what was left of their home. I'm a mom, you know, and um, the tragedy, it's, it's just can't even put into words, so it's all you can do is just be here to show your support. I don't think there are words uh, for a mother right now to have lost all of her children. Um, I hope she knows that the community is here for her. Many people at the vigil never even knew the family, but they've all been shaken by the loss of the children and their parents' grief. What has compounded this tragedy is the fact that, of course, the family came to Canada seeking safety and the better future that drew them here. They fled the war in Syria looking for a fresh start, and they were welcomed with open arms. That is video from September of 2017 when the Barhos arrived in Nova Scotia. For their children, it was a chance to grow up in security and comfort. One of the family's sponsors tells CBC News they enjoyed everything Canada has to offer. They love to swim. They love to do all the things that kids in Canada take for granted. Yeah, we spent a lot of time with them. It was fun to get to share all of their first that they were always so positive and they were always smiling and they never took things for granted. They were always appreciative of every experience we had to have. This is the voice of Natalie Horn, who is from the sponsorship group that brought the Barho family to Nova Scotia. She also told CBC News the father, Ibrahim, was in critical condition after going back into the house and trying to rescue his children. That he sent their mother, Kauthar, to the neighbors for help and that she is now, as you would expect, inconsolable. Their grief, as you have seen, is being shared by the entire community. And Brett Ruskin has more on that for us today. Well, this is the site of last night's vigil. You can see a memorial here with flowers and stuffed animals placed just in front of the house where this tragedy occurred. Again, seven children died here early yesterday morning, uh, ranging in age from uh, 14 years old all the way down to a newborn only three months old. And so the people that came out last night it was remarkable because so many of them said, I didn't know the family. I, I didn't know who they were before I saw their story on the news, but I live in the city or I used to live in this neighborhood or the most common response was I'm a parent, I'm a mom, I'm a dad, and I had to be here to share in this gathering. And there wasn't really much uh, structure in terms of main organizers. People just uh, spoke, there was singing, there were prayers as well. And it was all in support of these parents who lost so much after they traveled so far. Again, this is a family of Syrian refugees who traveled here, uh, fleeing their home to establish a, a home here where this tragedy occurred. Again, the investigation is still underway as to exactly what happened here. This roadway I'm standing on is closed to traffic right now. You can see actually a, a police vehicle in the back of the building where most of the damage occurred and so uh, the scene is still being protected by police. Investigators will be back on the scene today to continue sifting through the home to determine if there's any answers to the many questions that we have like how the fire started, how it spread so quickly and how these seven children were unable to escape the fire. Brett Ruskin, CBC News, Halifax.